Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer. And I'm Sparky. Get ready for fun, because you've just joined the, the Bed Bug Bible, Bible Gang. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. And we like to pray and praise and eat meringue And if you like the song we sang You're in the Bed Bug Bible Gang Gang, ding, 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 ding I think you're going to like today's show, Sparky Why is that, Buzzer? Because it's all about kindly kids, just like you Who are you calling a kid? Well, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, Sparky I'm only kidding, Buzzer Well, if you like kidding around You'll love our first story it's called Laughing Boy. You must be kidding! There was a man named Abraham, as old as old can be. He had a wife named Sarah, who was just as old as he. How old are they? Pretty old! God talked to old man Abraham and said he'd have a son. <laughs> How can this be, laughed Abraham. God must be making fun. That would be funny. I am not joking, Abraham. You're going to have a boy. And you will name him Laughter. He will fill your heart with joy. I think God is being serious. A baby named Laughter? Old Abraham believed the Lord and all that he'd been told. He waited many, many years, but all he got was old. Abraham sure is patient. He believes God. One day, as Abraham looked out, he saw a super sight. Three visitors had stopped that day lit up with heaven's light. Who are they? I don't know, but they look important. Old Abraham told Sarah, we must feed them right away. These aren't just any visitors. The Lord has come today. The Lord is visiting. What does God like to eat? So Abraham served lunch to God. God said, thanks for the chow. I'm here to say you'll have a son just one short year from now. That's good to know. Thanks, God. From in her tent, old Sarah heard the news that God had brought. She laughed out <laughs> loud to hear such fun. I'm much too old, she thought. Sarah thinks she's too old. God doesn't think so. God said to old man Abraham, now Sarah's laughing too. I'm glad to hear you're happy, for the news I bring is true. It is happy news. Kind of funny too. And one year later, can you guess why these old folks are glad? A laughing baby boy arrives for laughing mom and dad. Oh, he's cute. Old Abraham gives thanks to God. He holds his happy kid. Let's name the baby Laughing Boy. And that's just what they did. That baby has a happy name. <laughs> I'm happy too. Did you like the story of Laughing Boy, Sparky? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Help us sing a song about the laughing baby boy. Abraham was old, as you all can see. God told Abraham, a dad you'll be. Laugh, Abraham, laugh. Abraham, soon a dad you'll be. Abraham was out in a tent one day. Soon a special guest came by that way. Laugh, Abraham, laugh. Abraham, God came by that way. Abraham was glad that the Lord stopped by. Sarah started laughing, wonder why. Laugh, Abraham, laugh. Abraham, God's good news, that's why. Abraham and Sarah have a son. See the baby smiling, oh what fun. Laugh, Abraham, laugh, Abraham, see what God has done. Everyone sing along. Abraham was old as you all can see. God told Abraham, a dad you'll be. Laugh, Abraham, laugh, Abraham, soon a dad you'll be. Abraham was out in a tent one day. 
soon a special guest came by that way. Laugh, Abraham, laugh, Abraham, God came by that way. Abraham was glad that the Lord stopped by. Sarah started laughing, wonder why. Laugh, Abraham, laugh, Abraham, God's good news, that's why. Sarah have a son See the baby smiling Oh what fun Laugh, Abraham laugh Abraham see what God has done <laughs> That was funny That was one laugh filled song gang You can sing it just for fun That's my favorite reason of all <laughs> Can you match up these pictures From the laughing boy story we can start with this picture of Abraham. Where is his match? <laughs> there he is. This Abraham is laughing out loud. Now, can you find a match for Abraham's lunchtime guest? <laughs> That's great! You found a match for Abraham's very special visitor. Now find a match for this picture of Sarah. You found it! Sarah is laughing too! Can you find a match for Sarah's tent? <laughs> That's the one! Just one more to find! There is the match for this laughing baby boy! <laughs> Alright! You found all the matches! That sure was a silly game! Sparky, are you ready to meet another kindly kid from the Bible? Just give the word and I'm ready to listen. Goody. Let's all hear Samuel's message. Samuel lived someplace nice in the temple tall. He had lived there all his life since he was quite small. This place is beautiful. It's called the temple. Samuel worked every day in the temple there. People came to sit and pray. God would hear their prayer. The temple is like a church. I love to pray at church. Samuel worked for a priest. Eli was his name. Samuel was Eli's friend. Eli felt the same. Hi, Eli. He looks like a good friend. Samuel was sound asleep, all alone in bed. Samuel heard someone's voice. Samuel, it said. Who said that? Can't they see I'm sleeping? Samuel woke up at once. To the priest he creeps. Eli says, I did not call. Please go back to sleep. If it wasn't Eli, who was it? Samuel is back in bed. Someone says a word. Samuel, the voice calls out. Eli must have heard. I definitely heard something that time. M -m -m Me too. Samuel goes to the priest. Eli, did you call? Samuel, I did not speak. Not one word at all. Maybe he's just dreaming. I don't think so. Samuel goes back to sleep. Soon the voice calls out. Eli, did you call my name? No, the old priest shouts. Who is calling Samuel? It wasn't me. Eli thinks that this is strange. Who has called the boy? It must be the Lord above. Eli shouts with joy. God is calling Samuel. Ooh, that's cool. Samuel, go back to bed. If God calls again, tell the Lord you're listening. See what God says then. Let's get back to bed. Samuel heads to his room. Soon God's voice is heard. From that day, he talked with God and he shared God's word. Samuel talks to God. I pray every day. That's what I like to hear. That Samuel story sure was exciting. God had a special message for Samuel, even though he was just a little kid, like all of you. Does God have a special message for me, Buzzer? God has a special message for all of us, Sparky. Want to hear it? I'm listening. God loves you. Samuel was a good listener. Listen to these sounds and see if you can tell what those sounds are. Here's the first sound. <laughs> Did you guess that that was a bird? <laughs> then you're right. Okay, 
Listen to this super sound. That sounded just like a car honking its horn. Good job. Listen to this. Sounds like a kitty cat to me. You're doing great. Just a few more sounds to hear. Listen up. Hey, I think that sounded like a cuckoo clock. Have you ever heard that before? One more sound to hear. If you said that was a bed bug buzzing, you're right, it was me. Good job, everyone. That game sure sounded fun, <laughs> and you did super. You probably hear that all the time. And now I'm proud to present the Bed Bug Bandoliers with their latest, greatest hit, The Bed Bug British Invasion. Hey, hey, don't mean to bug you, but I wonder have you heard the buzz? Hey, hey, don't mean to bug you, it's the greatest news that ever was. Hey, hey, don't mean to bug you. But I think that you should know it's true We don't really mean to bug you But that's what bed bugs do Hey, hey, don't mean to bug you But I think you're gonna wanna hear Hey, hey, don't mean to bug you It's the greatest news you've heard all year Hey, hey, don't mean to bug you In a minute we will share it with you We don't really mean to bug you But that's we don't mean to bug you while well, the sun sets in the west. We don't mean to bug you, but it's what we do the best. We don't mean to bug you when you're in your bed at night. We don't mean to bug you, but if we didn't tell, it just wouldn't be right. Hey, hey, don't mean to bug you, but we're really glad you're listening. Hey, hey, don't mean to bug you, but you've really got to hear us sing. Hey, hey, don't mean to bug you, but you've got to know a thing or two. We don't really mean to bug you, but that's what bed bugs do. Hey, hey, don't mean to bug you, but I bet you want to hear it now. Hey, hey, don't mean to bug ya. We want to tell you, but we don't know how. Hey, hey, don't mean to bug ya. But you'll just have to wait till our song is through. We don't really mean to bug you, but that's what bed bugs do. We don't mean to bug you while the sun sets in the west. We don't mean to bug you, but it's what we do. Just wouldn't be right. Hey, hey, don't mean to bug ya, but we're finally gonna spill the beans. Hey, hey, don't mean to bug ya, if we didn't tell you that would be me. Hey, hey, don't mean to bug ya, but our song is nearly at its end. We hope we didn't bug you, cause the bugs wanna be your friends. Yeah, we hope we didn't bug you because the bugs want to be your friends. Could you tell we want to tell you that the bugs want to be your friends? If you wonder what we want, it is to say we want to be your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bedbug Bandoliers. It gave me just enough time to get ready for our last story. Are we going to meet another kindly kid, Buzzer? I wouldn't be surprised. I wasn't trying to surprise you, Buzzer. I just wanted to know if there's a kid in this story. Sparky, Sparky, Sparky. So, without further ado, the Bedbug Bible Gang is happy to bring you Jesus and the Sleeping Girl. Jesus roamed from here to there. People came to see and share. They heard Jesus' happy news. I have brought new life for you. Jesus makes us all brand new. Thank you, Jesus. 
As he walked along one day, Jesus heard a person say, Jesus, can you help me, please? He bowed down upon his knees. That man looks sad. I'm sure Jesus can help. My young girl is sick in bed. She is only 12, he said. If we don't go right away, I fear that she'll die today. Oh, no! Let's go, let's go! Jesus followed that nice man. Both ran quickly as they can. But before they got to town, someone stopped them with a frown. This doesn't look good. What's wrong, mister? Master, the sad servant cried. Your dear daughter has just died. Jesus told them, do not grieve. I can heal her. Just believe. That poor girl died. Jesus said not to worry. To the house the men all go. Jesus leads them in a row. Soon they reach the daughter's room. It's as quiet as a tomb. This is very sad. People in the house all say, Jesus came too late today. Jesus tells them, do not weep. This young girl is just asleep. What did he say? Jesus said she's sleeping. She is not asleep, they said. Can't you see that she is dead? Jesus smiled a loving smile. Let me see this sleeping child. Is Jesus confused? I believe Jesus. Jesus saw the child who died. Jesus knelt down by her side. Jesus whispered in her ear, Please wake up, my little dear. What did he say? Wake up! To her parents' glad surprise, that girl opened up her eyes. Soon she stood and danced about. She's alive, her parents shout. Yahoo! I knew Jesus could do it. Soon the girl was out of bed. She looks hungry, Jesus said. She's awake and doing well. That's news too good not to tell. I want to tell everyone. We could tell the whole world. I hope you liked our story. The bedbugs love to share the news that Jesus gives us all new life. And that's the greatest gift of all. I say thank you to Jesus every morning and every time I eat. And all the times in between. Thank you, Jesus. Now you can sing a song about Jesus and the sleeping girl. We'll help you learn it. Jesus was walking out on the street. Somebody stops and kneels at his feet. Jesus, please come, my daughter is sick. I know you can help her. Jesus, come quick. Jesus is running, no time to wait. Somebody stops and says you're too late. See the girl's father, sad as can be. He hears Jesus saying, Believe in me. Jesus is standing in the girl's room. People are crying, filled up with gloom. Jesus just smiles when he sees the scene. He says she is sleeping. What could he mean? Jesus is kneeling by the girl's side. He says, wake up, and eyes open wide. See the girl stand and dance down the hall. They give thanks to Jesus. He saves us all. Everybody sing with me. Jesus was walking out on the street. Somebody stops and kneels at his feet. Jesus, please come, my daughter is sick. I know you can help her. Jesus, come quick. Jesus is running, no time to wait. Somebody stops and says you're too late. See the girl's father, sad as can be. He hears Jesus saying, believe in me. Jesus is standing in the girl's room. People are crying, filled up with gloom. 
angels just smiles when he sees the scene. He says she is sleeping. What could he mean? Jesus is kneeling by the girl's side. He says, wake up and eyes open wide. See the girl stand and dance down the hall. They give thanks to Jesus. He saves us all. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> That was great, gang. Keep it down. I'm trying to sleep. Can you tell which picture from the sleeping girl story is different from all the others? We can start with this picture of the girl's father. Which picture is different? You got it. This picture shows a very happy pappy. Look at these pictures of Jesus. Which one is different? Right! This picture of Jesus is different from the others. Look at these pictures of that nice man's house. Which house is different? Right again! That house is painted blue. Look at this picture of the little girl. Which picture does not match? That's it! That girl is often dancing around. Just one more. Which family photo is different from the others? You found it. This family looks different from all of the others. Good job. That's all the time we have for today, gang. We hope you had fun, and we hope to see you again real soon. And always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye-bye.